Hello, my name is Chris Galler with the Minnesota Association of Realtors. Thank you for joining us in this week's e-video resource. With me today is Ann Keeling, who is our Associate Legal Counsel, who works with our legal team on the hotline. She also works with the Professional Standards Department and does risk reduction. She's also very informed on forms, and forms gets to be an issue that they tackle all the time on the legal hotline. Today we're going to discuss, with her knowledge, the addendum and the amendment. There's a lot of confusion in the marketplace about when do you use which, what are they for, what's the purpose, and how come I can't just use them interchangeably. So Anne is going to discuss with us those things, and Anne, why don't you first discuss what's the difference between an addendum and an amendment to a purchase agreement? So, Chris, an addendum is supposed to be part of the purchase agreement. It should be signed at the same time of the, as the purchase agreement, so everything should be executed together. Um, the point of having an addendum is to give parties the opportunity to pick and choose which terms they want and add or subtract which addendums they want to have in their purchase agreement. Um, and so that, uh, an example of some addendums would be like the um, inspection contingency addendum if the parties wanted to have an, an inspection or um, a financing addendum if the buyer needed financing to purchase the property. Again, all of that should be executed at the same time and it's all part of the purchase agreement. Okay, so an addendum if for those on the street, short term, add. It's an addition to the purchase agreement at time you're completing it initially with the client. Yes, in order to be effective it it does, does need to be signed at the exact same time okay. as the purchase agreement. So then the next one is an amendment. Mm -hmm. An amendment, again, we won't use the three-syllable word, we'll just use the word amend. You're amending something, you're changing something that's already existing. Would that make sense? Yes, an amendment is a way to um, change the existing terms of a fully executed and effective purchase agreement. Good. So you would, um, once you have the uh, the completed purchase agreement signed if something comes up later and you want to change the terms for instance if you need to change the closing date for some reason or if you have an inspection contingency and you've done the inspection and you've negotiated and now the seller has decided that they will uh, make some repairs at the buyer's request you could write that up in an amendment and it actually effectively changes the terms of the original purchase agreement and so in addition to changing the terms you have to remember that if there are other terms in the purchase agreement that are different from those terms, then the amendment terms would um, would override those. Okay. And does it, if I offer an amendment, uh, my client wants to change the closing date. That was a good one. So we're going to amend it for 15 days. Does that open up negotiations in all the rest of the purchase agreement, or only are we dealing with that amendment at that point? Um. Well. Uh, a purchase agreement, even though it's fully executed, um, parties can always ask for changes. They can always ask for, for instance, a cancellation or anything like that. But the other party is not legally required to um, agree to any amendments. Um, both parties are legally required to uphold the agreement as it stands until both parties agree in writing to change it. And they would do that through an amendment. Um, but for instance, as a practical matter, if um, a buyer's uh, um, financing needs an extra week to go through and the seller still really wants to sell, they can uh, the buyer can go to the seller uh, through their agents, of course, and, and say, look, we need an extra week. Are you willing to do it? And if the seller isn't, they don't have to sign the amendment. But if they are willing to do it, then they can both sign the amendment and it'll effectively change the closing date. Perfect. So, short term for everybody out there, addendum is at time of initial purchase agreement, you're adding terms or conditions to it, an amendment is after the original purchase agreement has been accepted and you're just making some modifications. We thank you for joining. My name is Chris Galler. Have a great week.